Asian eye, one big, one small. Is this ptosis, and what can be done? I am an Asian female teenager. My one eye is much smaller than the other. My bigger eye has a much better vision than my smaller eye. Is this ptosis? Is there anything that can be done to make my small eye vision better, and also both eyes more the same size and look? Thanks. Thank you for your question. You submitted a photo and in your question you described that you're an Asian teenager and that one eye is smaller than the other. You mentioned in your question that the vision in that eye is not as good as the eye that's more open. And you're asking, can you make the vision better as well as uh, open the eye more? So just to understand the situation, uh, there is some limitations based on a submission of a single photo which is taken on an angle. I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon. It means that I, my background training was first in eye surgery, ophthalmology, and then I did specialized training in plastic surgeries of the, in the eyes and face. I also went further and became board certified in full body cosmetic surgery. I'm going to give you some details to understand so that you can pursue uh, the best course of action based on your question. First of all, if your eyelid is drooping on the left side, as it appears on the photo, and you've always had this, well then we refer to this condition as congenital ptosis. Ptosis means drooping, and we're talking about eyelid ptosis and that you were born with congenital, meaning you were born with it. When we evaluate congenital ptosis, when a child is under six years old, it's very important to understand the impact of the ptosis on vision. The reason I've used the number of six years old, from age zero to six, visual development requires a clear image in each eye and if it is impaired, then that eye becomes what's often referred to as a lazy eye. And a lazy eye doesn't mean that the eyelid is drooping or the eyelid is crossed, but rather the vision doesn't develop fully. The term, the medical term is amblyopia. So amblyopia is a permanent decrease in vision due to neurologic development secondary to a lack of clear image uh, being projected on the retina, on the back of the eye, and it goes all the way to the brain. So when you say the vision isn't as good as the other eye, it may be amblyopia, but you have to have a full ophthalmic examination in order to determine whether, you just, whether or not you may just need glasses or whether or not you truly have amblyopia. So to answer the question about the whether or not you can get better vision, it requires a visit to an ophthalmologist, maybe a pediatric ophthalmologist, to truly evaluate the potential of vision in that eye. As far as ptosis is concerned, well, ptosis is, is correctable. It is correctable based on several different methods depending on two major factors. One is the degree of ptosis, which means how low the eyelid is relative to the center of the eye called the pupil, as well as the muscle function. There's a muscle that is called the levator muscle, the muscle that is responsible for lifting the eyelid. It's like the word elevator. And this muscle can have various levels of strength. Congenital ptosis basically is a a, a condition where the muscle that lifts the eye, the elevator muscle, doesn't develop fully. In other words, this muscle neither contracts fully as a normal muscle does, nor does it relax fully. So based on the degree of muscle function and the degree of ptosis, we determine what is the best surgical option. In our practice, we routinely perform congenital ptosis on on people, on uh, adults, and usually in that situation, we actually have our patients cooperate because there's a lot of technique and method to trying to get the optimal height, shape, and contour. And in many times, we actually sit our patients up 
to see if the height and everything looks right. It's a very dynamic procedure and it depends on your age as well as your level of tolerance and whether or not you can handle that. I have operated on patients as young as 14 in this manner, but usually younger than that, patients are, it, the kids find it difficult to cooperate without being too scared. So I think that your, your best option is to meet with an ophthalmologist and get some information first about your visual potential and then meet with an oculoplastic or oculofacial plastic surgeon. This is a specialty in ophthalmology and it, we deal with ptosis routinely and it is a very big part of what an oculofacial plastic surgeon does. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.